let's talk about uh, indoor plants in particular I just want to say something about uh, this arrangement this is um, variegated monstera and uh, this plant currently is trending and it's not a local plant it is imported into Zambia it's a hybrid from Thailand so um, the trending plants as we all know are quite pricey uh, if you look at this plant you know I've spent so much on it so surely you want to put it uh, in an elegant pot you don't want to put it in a uh, some people call them the skates um, I thought it's variegated and it's uh, almost like a broken plant so I went to look for a pot which is going to complete this broken leaf kind of plant and uh, I, this pot caught my eye and I just thought that it was going to be perfect so this pot alone, uh, I got it from Pound Stretcher and um, I think it was in the range of um, uh, 450 or thereabouts. And this small spot that you see, because I know that um, this could be my focal plant, this moss is going for 250. So if you put the pot, the price of the pot and the price of the moss pot without even putting the price of the plant, it's already an expensive plant. In short, I would say this plant is a collector's plant. It's not just a plant for anyone. I know us gardeners, most of the time, we tend to think that, uh, ah, these are overpriced. But um, I think it's a seller's market. You either have the money to buy a collectible plant or you don't. And uh, it's not good etiquette to start complaining, maybe behind that person's back to say, oh, their plants are so expensive. We have to get into account that if a plant is healthy you can see it's already in a presentable pot and all the accessories that go with it surely the plant the person selling that plant should be able to name their own price and hope to make a good return on it we should stop always thinking that uh, gardeners are out to make a kill I, for one, when I think that I make my own compost, I know exactly what I put into that compost. And I know that um, I'm quite comf comfortable that if whoever buys my plant comes back and says, um, I lost it, that person should be able to tell me exactly how she was looking after it. In fact, I make it a point always when I buy a plant, any new plant, I report it into my own mixture which I make so that I don't blame anyone that no, maybe there was something wrong, there were diseases in the, uh, in the potting mix. So I always make it a point to change the, the soil or whatever planting medium I buy that plant in. So gardeners, let's uh, not always complain uh, sometimes we should give credit and we should appreciate uh, about the labor of love that goes into somebody selling a plant well presented